and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where it can be polarizing and it can be notorious with the latest backstage updates and developments as it concerns SummerSlam and potential changes, a change of the script because of the Cena injury and Cena being 50-50. What is the WWE going to do to change course, to change patterns? Well, according to Dave Meltzer's Wrestling Observer Radio, and as seen and edited on NoDQ.com, go check out their website right now and tell them Sean's you ain't sent you. WWE has already started laying the foundation for backup plans in case John Cena is not able to face Seth Rollins in their scheduled champion versus champion match at this month's SummerSlam on the WWE Network. The reason that the company booked Randy Orton to face Seth Rollins in the main event on Raw was in case, and this is, you know, there's, there's logic here, there's sense, there's direction. They did this in case Cena is unable to be cleared to wrestle later this month, and they would have a backup plan in motion. WWE would also have the options of booking Orton versus Rollins versus Sheamus in a three-way dance or a triple threat at the annual event as well, given the way the match ended on Monday's Raw. So the WWE left open the window. They left open the door for opportunity in the WWE to go off into a dif different direction if Cena's unable. Well, listen, listen. At this point, why don't you just go all out? Make it a fatal four-way. That way, Cena can still be included, but he won't have to do a hell of a lot in the match because most of the focus will be on Sheamus, Rollins, and uh, Orton. And you're going to have Cena in there as well. As of now, John Cena's, John Cena's SummerSlam status is iffy. However, if he is able to wrestle, WWE would resort back to the original plans of booking Sheamus versus Randy Orton and Seth Rollins versus John Cena at SummerSlam. The company should have a better uh, understanding of Cena's status by next Monday's episode of Raw. But however, if there's any more news, rumors, or speculation uh, about John Cena's status at SummerSlam, it will be brought to you here on Sean's View Entertainment with my views, my comments, my co commentaries. Of course, if it, as it relates to the dirt sheets, the websites, the newsletters, and all those things in between. Well, uh, you know, I'm not so sure how I feel about Orton versus Sheamus versus Rollins. Um... I'll tell you what, it's a different dynamic. It's something fresh. It's something new. I mean, we have seen Cena versus Rollins oh so many times before. And listen, they have chemistry. They have great matches. They have good outings. I am all for Rollins versus Cena. Why? Because, well, it's a little bit different because this time it's for the first time ever where champion versus champion, United States champion versus WWE World Heavyweight Champion, winner takes all. But you got to remember WWE booked out the Rollins and Cena program to be a long-term feud. So I guess it would go long-term because whoever wins at SummerSlam, you would have to assume that Rollins is going to win. But then again, why would you put Sheamus in this match knowing that he already has the money in the bank? Briefcase, to me, that just doesn't add up. It doesn't make any sense. But once again, the WWE is making a little bit of sense as they are they are having this backup plan. And I, I am all for backup plans because the WWE is going to have to have something like this in order. But you know what? John Cena always finds a way to come through. John Cena always finds a way to, uh, you know, make believers out of everybody. And whether you're question, whether you're doubt, whether you're criticism, or whether you're hate of John Cena, you always have to admit that John Cena is one of the toughest WWE superstars of all time. He's resilient, and he always comes back a lot sooner than anticipated. So John Cena could shock the world again. But once again, you got to see it from the WWE standpoint. They want to protect Cena. They want to protect his image. They want to make sure he's good. They want to make sure he's healthy. They want to make sure John Cena's back to where he needs to be. So ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions, what is going to happen at SummerSlam? What should be the go-to plan? What should be the backup plan? Will the WWE even need a backup plan if John Cena comes back? Subscribe.